It's Ash from Super Videos back for another video for season nine of The Walking Dead. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the new group that were just introduced in The Walking Dead's TV show, The Highwaymen. We're gonna look at the group and take a look at their role in The Walking Dead's TV series for the rest of season nine and further beyond going into season 10 if they survive that long. Now, the first thing I wanna mention is that I did not really understand the purpose that the highwaymen served. I mean, to me, it seemed like their whole role was just to be there as filler. I mean, the whole purpose was so that they could be there, so that, you know, they could make this episode, the latest episode that just aired, 913, be sort of like a bottle episode. And so that way they can have the story stretched out a little bit so that they can hit their mark in terms of content that they want to have closer to the end of the season. So they wanted to kind of make sure those content line up properly. And because of that, they introduced this new group, the Highwaymen. So I feel like their whole role was more or less filler without having any real important or even interesting or entertaining part in the story. Now I do want to say there is an exception to this because I feel like the only good thing that came out of the Highwayman story was to see Carol in action a little bit and to kind of see how Carol deals with a new group like this. But other than that, the group as a group by itself was disappointing and underwhelming and it seemed like there was a lot of build up, there was a lot of hype for this group. And, you know, it just didn't lead up to anything that interesting because it seemed like they showed up as a big threat. They had like a big build up, like I said, and their story was fleshed out and they were developed a little bit in terms of who the group were. But then their story got resolved pretty quickly. And so because of that, it seems like there wasn't any real purpose to them being in the episode or even in the story because they were a threat. And the next minute, they were helping out the group, kill the walkers, you know what I mean? So something just feels a little bit off about the Highwaymen. And to me, their role seems more filler than anything else. And I was definitely disappointed that they did not connect to the Whispers in any way. Or even if they're not directly connected, they didn't help in the Whispers story in any sort of way. Their story could have definitely been integrated into the Whisper story and they could have done something very, very cool and interesting. I had a theory before this episode aired, you can go to my previous videos and watch me talk about that, but I had a theory that this group will be a catalyst to why some people will get captured by the Whispers when they're trying to get to the fair. In my theory, I said because the highwaymen are basically taking the roads around the kingdom hostage or they're basically claiming it as their own, that means that in order for people, for survivors to get to the fair, they would need to use alternative routes and that would get them exposed to be discovered and captured by the whispers when trying to get to the fair. And I thought that that could have been a classic example of bringing in a new group that's a TV show only group that's not in the comics, but making the group work alongside the main story that we have and help out expand the story a little bit and make it more not only realistic, but make it more interesting to see and add a little bit more complexity to the story that we're getting. Obviously, we didn't see that. And... From the looks of it, from what we can see now, the highwaymen appear to just have joined the group, at least for the time being. Now, the other thing I do want to mention that's very, very interesting is I was actually doing a video a couple of weeks ago when I went to The Walking Dead's official wiki page. And then I looked at the episodes that were listed and the people that were in the episodes. Now, I do have this video, but in the wiki, this character right here, Ozzy, who is the leader of the Highwaymen, was actually listed as being a whisperer before in the wiki page. And somehow from that time that I did that video until the episode where they showed up and even like a day before they showed up, the content on the wiki changed. And this guy, Ozzy, 
went from being a member of the Whisperers to being listed as the leader of the Highwaymen. So that's something that's interesting. Did they just put that out there to throw us off, to misdirect us, to lie to us in a way? Or, you know, was there miscommunication amongst the Walking Dead crew members when it comes to information that's released and information that's out there? I'm not sure about that, but obviously it would have been more interesting for them to be connected to the Whisperers in some way, shape, or form. Again, if they're not directly the Whisperers themselves, could have contributed to the storyline that we have with the Whispers, like I said. Now, another thing that's very interesting is, remember when the main trailer was released, this guy was seen in the trailer walking around the kingdom. And at that time, comic fans went crazy with theories saying that this guy is a whisper and he's infiltrating the fair. And obviously something alongside that does happen in the comics. I don't want to reveal too much, but... That's what we went with, because that made the most sense. Even me, I'm to blame for this theory as well, because I thought the same thing. But obviously, it was just the leader of the highwaymen at the fair, like we saw in this episode. So I thought that was also very interesting as well. Now, just to wrap up this video, I think from what it seems at the moment, this group seems like a filler group and an underwhelming group until they give us something other than this. And... You know, there's a scenario where they're not necessarily to be trusted and they come back to, you know, do something that hurts the group in some way. Either join the Whispers or something along those lines. Or do something that is not really them helping the group. Now, I do believe if they do that, it'll be like repetitive storyline. So regardless of what it is, it's either underwhelming or it's repetitive story. And why I say repetitive story is because, you know, it's like another group just showed up. Seems like they're a good group. You know what I mean? So it's like recycled material in that way. And also, if we look at it from the perspective where this group maybe joins the Whisperers and does something alongside of helping them in the war, then this is, again, repetitive. It's recycled because it's just like Jadis and the Scavengers joining the Saviors to defeat the survivors and even acting as double agents and, you know, trying to work on both sides. So again, it seems like even if that's what they're going with, it's repetitive material. And one other thing that I do want to mention, I don't think the whispers will roll with anyone in general. They don't trust anyone. They don't want anyone to help them. They're just individualistic that way as a group. But that's basically everything I wanted to share with you guys. Make sure to pike the like button if you enjoy the content. I'll see you soon for another super video. If you like what you see, press like, subscribe for more content, and press the bell button to receive notifications for daily uploads.